This international conference here in Malawi is a culmination of seven years of preparation by All We Can and Y Care International. This international conference has brought together their partners whose delegates come from various countries such as Ethiopia, India, Kenya, Liberia, Madagascar, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Uganda, United Kingdom, Zimbabwe, Jamaica, and the host, Malawi. In order to make a tangible impact in these countries, all we can, and why care international in September 2021 decided to harness their resources to tackle poverty, inequality, and injustice. This conference, therefore, intends to creating a legacy of resilient, thriving, and impactful partners by together finding local solutions that can be used to tackle poverty, inequality, and injustice. Now, this conference is one that we've been um, looking forward to, to about, uh, for about seven years. The two organizations came together in a strategic partnership last year. And uh, what we uh, have done today is to bring a community of um, NGOs together from across um, Africa, but also beyond. As you know, we've got people coming from Antigua, from Bahamas, uh, from India, um, and all across Africa. And what we want to do is to really understand what it takes for development to be um, achieved, but also for that development to start from the local communities themselves. So we are looking at locally led development solutions. And this is why we have people like Dr. Zombe who came to speak, uh, because he gives an example of what it means for a community member to themselves decide to be the transformation that they seek to, uh, uh, to achieve. So it's not about looking at um, outside solutions, but really having those solutions starting from the communities themselves. And of course, as you said, if uh, we're going to be successful with that, then we have to have lo uh, local leaders, uh, traditional chiefs also as part of that pro um, uh, program and uh, that process. And so it's, it's um, very, very important. In the UK, a lot of organizations like ourselves are starting to think about how um, development can change the whole process, the whole system of development, uh, the whole um, system of aid can change to make sure that the transformation and the change that happens in communities is sustained and um, that communities are resilient. So you will have heard of Shift the Power movement, uh, you would have heard of decolonizing aid. All of those things are, um, are, are concepts uh, and actually we are embodying as All We Can and Why Care International. And so we don't want to just have those conversations in the UK um, with other um, British NGOs, but we also want to make sure that our partners are part and parcel of that. Chief Executive Officer of All We Can and Why Care International says time has come to respect each other in terms of ideologies and how to deal with challenges facing the globe. He observes that many were the times that solutions and ideas to solve situations in Africa or elsewhere were bred from other continents, making them fail to accomplish the mission. The important uh, role that we play in seeing an end to poverty and injustice is not about us uh, controlling the agenda. We don't see our partners around the world as people who are implementing our projects and our ideas. What we are looking for is people who we can get behind, whose visions and strategies we can support, and those people are the ones who are closest uh, to the situations of poverty in global majority countries. Um, it is those individuals who are the ones who understand what the solutions are, what the, uh, uh, the, the best innovations are to address situations of gender inequality or of poverty or of exploitation, of education, of livelihoods. And uh, it's those people who, with those solutions and a little bit of support, can achieve the aspirations and, and truly improve uh, the experience of individuals and communities around the globe. So our role is to get behind them, to add support where they need it. If, uh, if some of that support may be technical support, some of that support may be financial, some of it may be solidarity. 
and uh, whatever it is that's needed, we're driven by the local partner, we're led by the local partner, and we su submit to uh, their leadership in responding to those solutions. And I think that's a really important uh, aspect that um, uh, UK NGOs and inter international NGOs from around the globe really need to get behind this idea that actually uh, for too long those with money and with power have been the ones that have been driving the agenda, have been dictating what the solutions are and have been uh, driving the implementations that are needed to address those, uh, those situations and problems. And that has to end. Uh, we need to decolonize aid. We need to end the paternalism that has existed in aid for too long and we need to find and, and pioneer a new model of being locally led by our partners and that's what we're passionately committed to and, and passionately uh, committed to being held accountable to as well by our local partners around the globe including here in Malawi. Minister of Gender, Community Development and Social Welfare Patricia Cariati agrees that local leadership plays a very crucial role in providing solutions in different areas that partners in development implement their projects. She says it is therefore wrong to disregard their views and local knowledge when it comes to interventions aiming at tackling poverty, inequality and injustice. You know, at a local level, people, they listen very much to the chiefs and they are the custodian of uh, be it the tradition uh, beliefs or uh, tradition uh, programs which they have at the local level. So when we involve the chiefs, they are the ones who are going to send the message to the people. That's why even when we are ending child marriages, but also the, 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 uh, the harmful cultural practices, we involved the chiefs because we believe in that, that the ones, that they, they have their custody, the, the subjects, they are the ones who address the subject. The subjects also listen to the chiefs. So it's very important that we need to engage the chiefs in each and every meeting, but also we need to be working together. The partnership with the chiefs, the ending of early marriages, economic empowerment of our, our women, but also the girl child education, the, the risk reduction which we've been challenged with, we need to involve the chiefs. So this conference is so important and so paramount that we need to be to have partnership with the NGOs, with the, the churches, but also with the chiefs together to, to we team up to make sure that we support the locals. And these are the subjects which the chiefs they are going to command. Victor Muowo is a local partner working with Eagles Relief and Development International. He says through this conference, meaningful steps will be taken to ensure aid coming from international partners is reflected in the lives of the most rural and poor in the countries that delegates are coming from. What we are hoping to see out of this conference is a new way of doing things. But also, what we have also realized is it's not money alone or financial resources that equals or brings about change. If you don't have the wisdom to apply what you have with wisdom, you may accomplish nothing. With wisdom, people can raise their returns because they have that insight and we've been learning from the scriptures that when people were hungry Christ did not just pour out a miracle he asked them a question what do you have five loaves two fish and what we have learned is every community in Malawi has some five loaves and two fish combine that with wisdom and then transformation can happen so it's really changing mindset to realize that we already have something but combine that with wisdom not just money, and then we can see the change that we're looking for. Delivering his keynote speech, Dr. Napoleon Zombe challenged the delegates that their interventions should aim at transforming the lives of people. He says it is sad that in many areas in African countries, life roads are becoming hard considering economic challenges the whole world is currently experiencing. Most of our people have been working very hard for so many years. But if you go to their villages and see their lifestyle, you will see that they have nothing. So I'm wondering, who is uh, taking advantage of our people that uh, they work very hard but they earn nothing? So I think uh, as, a global village, as a global village, we need to find a solution. How can we share our wealth with the needy? How can we help them to stand on their feet? Because they are also human beings as good as we are, and they need our hand. 
we have uh, many, many well-wishers around the globe. But when it comes on, on the ground, there's nothing going on on the ground. Of course, we have very good records. We have very good accounts and whatsoever. But uh, practically, on the ground, if you go and you see what is happening, you will see that in the 70s, people maybe were living in a better life than today. So I'm wondering why and what are we doing as a community to uplift the living standards of so many people? My Bible in uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 5, it states, good planning and hard work leads to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts leads to poverty. So if we put in place very good plans and work very hard, I think we can change the community within five years. Some of the local partners that the All We Can and Why Care International is working with include Churches in Action and Relief and Development Card, Eagles Relief and Development Program, Adolescent Girls Literacy and Foundation for Active Civic Education. These partners work with communities in districts of Chukwawa and Insanje in the areas of poverty reduction, disaster risk management and community empowerment. 